Alright, well, we gained some diplomacy, so that's something. And we fulfilled our ambition. I don't think we can choose another one at the moment. But let's move over there and take out wipers. Actually, better plan. Let's move here, take out this army. Is that... it's the army of Duke Robert. I was hoping it would be the army of the king. Oh well. That's fine. Still an army and we still thwacked it hard. Now, how many places are left here? This one? That's alright. Um, <clears throat> praise his honesty. Honest isn't that bad. It lowers his intrigue, but it increases his diplomacy, so that's a plus. <clears throat> Alrighty. Actually, not doing too bad. I was a little bit worried about entering a war with France. I just hope that we manage to force it to a successful conclusion before Nate kicks the bucket. Because if he kicked the bucket... There you go, now you're getting technology, but still the wrong one. Church taxes are nice, though. Church taxes is okay. It's not a bad option. Uh, finish the siege. Victory. Done, done. Will you surrender now, you stupid son of a bitch? No, it's still just a flesh wound. You idiot. I'm gonna kick your ass. It's gonna happen. Well, whatever floats his boat. I could hire another mercenary company and increase how quickly we could... Oh, hello! There we go. That's the might of France. Bring it, you stupid sons of bitches. Presumably, they're going to either stop and try to besiege somewhere... Or they're going to come in and attack here. I'm going to meet them, I think. It'll cost us some siege time, but that's okay. We should move in and meet them. <clears throat> okay, so he's going to arrive at Amiens on the 30th of June. Uh, January. He's going to keep marching. That's actually not the worst thing in the world, because there is a river between us. So, I will give up the siege progress. <clears throat> there you go, now you're getting technology. Still not the one I want, but it's good. Okay, if I moved you now, you would get there on the 11th. Okay. We technically outnumber him, so we should still win, even if it takes a few extra days to get there. Right, attack. Oh, what's that? Oh, 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 pwned, 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 you son of a bitch. Yeah, that is the one and only time I will ever actually use that expression, but he just got ruffle stomped so hard. Alright, go back over there. You don't need to besiege, so you can go there. Follow him to wipers and obliterate him. Done deal. Write me my family chronicles. Good. Levy reinforcements are always excellent. <clears throat> yeah, you have fun with that. Alright. Uh, we can follow him. <clears throat> or we can stay where we are. I'm going to see if he'll accept peace now. No, it's still just a flesh wound. We'll have 4,000 against their 1,500. That's a risk worth taking. Bertrand is no longer steward. I thought for a second there it was going to say Nathaniel died. <laughs> I was really, really worried. Um, he became ambitious. That's not a bad thing. <clears throat> the Guardian. I was believe I was trying to train up his stewardship, wasn't I? Yes. You are a bad Guardian because you are not my culture. You are a bit iffy. On somebody who's my actual culture. Gervais, it'll have to be Gervais. Um, there's an open council position. Kukre, done. No longer will you lead troops. I said no longer will you lead troops. You will instead collect taxes. And this is probably going to be... 
that our... No, our university should have been built though, right? Yes, and they're upgrading by themselves. Perfect. Alright, if we win that siege, we can continue on. But Nate is getting old, he's 53 now. Doesn't look like he's going to kick the bucket very soon though, so that's, that's a good thing. And follow them back. The nice thing about the way we're fighting this war is that, because my beloved daughter is concerned, I thought she was. Oh, she was married, and then he died. Right. That's that's right. And um, okay, let's see if we can get somebody to matrilineally marry her. No, those are too close. You'll do it. Done deal. Done. I told you I would find you someone nice. Sweet nurse. Is he good at anything? Not really. He's a kinslayer too, but eh. It's not important. She's old. She's not really going to be um, having that many children, and there's not really much point to trying to secure her husband who's going to really care. The Rise of the Hansa. What's that? Oh right, the Hanseatic League. I do hope we win that. Yeah, we will. There we go. Oh, you just got ruffle stomped. Come on, my lord king, there is no shame in admitting that I am a better man at fighting than you are, and you just got yourself completely thwacked by a duke. Oh, right. There's a double one this time, isn't there? Um, are you good at anything in particular? No. Let's give you to somebody who's very good at diplomacy. Very good at diplomacy. Hmm. She's a good pick. Fresenda. And Hugolina, you can also be tutored by Fresenda. Done deal. She's not really important, Fresenda, that is, but. Ebon de Blois. Ebon de Blois. I have no idea who he is. I don't think he's actually someone important, but meh. A prisoner is a prisoner. I could assault that holding, but I won't. There's not really much point doing so. Mayor Gargamel of Courtenay was captured. Perfect. Done deal. Alright, let's go here. 500. Perfect. That's excellent, actually. Alright, finally we have wiped out that army. Now we can settle down and besiege. Oh, hello. A message about offering peace. We will surrender under these terms. You gain the counties of Armien and Boulogne. I accept your generous offer. Norman War has ended. Sweetness, yes, I know, we're over domain limit, but that's fine. First thing we do is we become the Duke of Valois. Yes, I know. Perfect, Annette. Domain is still too big, and we can press du jour claims. Obviously, we won't do either of those things. We have become Earl of Boulogne. We don't really need this. So what we're going to do is we're going to find somebody. Wait, what culture is it? It's Frankish. They both are. They're both Frankish. Okay, we need somebody who's Norman and unlanded, but with good stewardship. People in my court. Uh, so let's go from rank downwards. Are you Norman? You are Norman. You are unmarried. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. Is there anybody good that we can marry you to? Hmm. No, not really. Well, maybe she's lostful. Let's do that. And then we need one more person. No, not Odo. Need one more person. You are my prisoner. You are a Prince of Ross. 
What about you? You're Norman. But his parents are dead. You will do. You will do, sir. I will grant you a landed title. You are going to become... Well, I don't have to give them both away. I'm going to keep one of them for myself. Actually, which one's the better one? Yes, I'm going to keep the better one for myself, because I'm a very, very selfish man like that. Okay, what about Amien? Oh, right, okay, yeah, it's upgrading. Um, I'm going to keep Amien for myself. I'm going to give this one... Yeah, I'm going to give this one to... Young Solo. Young Solo. There he is. He's being educated by Odo. I'm going to try and marry him off first. He's 15, so he'll come of age in a moment. Um, let's see. We want somebody with good stewardship. Somebody who's kind of good at what they do, preferably with a good trait. Hmm. Could be worse. Yeah, let's go with her. And we'll wait until we get the response. Done deal, Serlo. You are now going to become the Count of Blanc. Include all lower titles. Done dealio. Nice. So now we have seven out of seven. He's become the Earl of Belong. Nice, 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 nice. We can disband this army. I'm pretty sure that's not got my retinues. No, my retinues are here. Sweet, nurse. Disband. Hell yes. Go over here. Oh yeah. Direct vassals, Normandy. Normandy rules all. Cool. So hopefully he will get another claim at some point. Hell yeah. We can press the Jure Ducal claims if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We don't have to. King Yi got his ass whooped. Oh, he got maimed as well. He's probably going to die soon. But yeah, he doesn't like me. Declared war. He's a title claimant. He desires the Duchy of Valois. I'm pretty, pretty sure he owns this. Oh no. Duke Robert of Poitou does. Poitou. Poitou. Nice. Flanders is still... I'm amused that he actually likes me. He likes me enough that he's not too concerned about what I just did. Roger Capet. I wonder... You know, I still have that granddaughter. Didn't I have a daughter as well? No, I had a granddaughter, didn't I? Um, how would you like to marry Hugolina? Yeah. There you go. Excellent. So we have essentially severed this bit of France from the rest of it. The problem being, of course, that the King of France can still try to get all of this back because if we look at De Jour Kingdoms, this one is not drifting. And the reason it's not drifting is because we do not own Vermandois. But the rest of our land will become almost impossible for him to declare war on. He'll still be able to try and claim Paris though, which is a problem. But hopefully we'll be able to get a claim on here. We already have a claim technically. So we could press it if one of them raised in rebellion. Obviously we'd get Truce Breaker if we did it now, so we won't do it now. But we could press a de jure claim on here. And if we won, he would be sworn to us. As opposed to um, being independent. And then de jure Realm Drift would begin. So it's being incorporated de jure into the Kingdom of England, the Duchy of Normandy, that is. And in 12 years, 
it will be part of the kingdom. And then of course we've got like du jour empires as well where that will be happening too. It's not happening at the moment, but it will eventually. Cool. Yeah, we've just gone from strength to strength with Nathaniel. He managed to pick up two Duke titles during his reign, and he's still not dead. I'm fairly impressed by that. Uh, that's right, you were the guy I was thinking of. You are staying in our court forever and ever and ever. He's going to be another um, William, I think. Cool. So how's Scotland doing? Oh, I know. Let's go on a grand hunt to celebrate. Why do you want to see her dead? I don't know, but I want you to stop. Quit it. Of course you dare not refuse, you silly man. Oh yeah, we can release these guys to gain some uh, prestige. So I'll ransom him. 25 gold is good gold. And I'm pretty sure that if I ransomed him, it would only be... Yeah, it would only be 10, and he wouldn't actually accept. So what we're going to do is we're going to release Eben. Because we're nice and gentle like that. So release him from prison. Gain a plus 10, which will hopefully offset some of the uh, rage that our vassals will be having over the whole raised levies thing. Because that war went for a while. Uh, right, Grand Hunt. Grand Hunt. Let us go on one. Didn't I just release you? No, that's right, I didn't release you, I released the other guy. Known plots. You will stop it. Awesome. Yes, it was misdirected, was it not? I'm out in the woods and I see a mighty stag while my party is hunting. What are the odds? Spare its majesty. It would look really good above my fireplace. Let's go with what are the odds. Prestige isn't massively important to us right now, but it's still semi-important. You. You are getting old. I wonder if I could just simply off you. I probably could. Yeah, let's stop doing that and go to Vexen instead. And then if I want to assassinate you... I'd have a 33% chance of success, but a 41% chance of being found out. We'll wait. So yes, I did just pick up another county that is kind of dead weight at the moment. It is a bit of a problem. But for now, it's not that bad. We'll gain the uh, piety again, because piety is always important. The Grand Hunt is over. It would be really nice if I could have um, tried to become a paragon of virtue, but it was not to be so. Would have been amusing, though, <laughs> to become known as the holy, considering that uh, we just, you know, we're not very holy. Not really. You're at peace with people. You're in a civil war. Oh, over Burgundy, I see. I actually like you, so I wonder, can I offer to join your war? I can offer to join your war. I will assist you. I think. You know what? Yeah, it, it doesn't actually do anything bad for me. Uh, you can be humble if you want. Ooh, or you could be proud. I'm going to go for proud. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to help out my friend Robert, because it was his rebellion that gave me the opportunity to press claims on land that wasn't really technically mine. So, it's only fair to help him out. Hmm. Okay, so the Royal Laws of England. We're actually not doing too bad. Limited Crown Authority. He can't change it again, I don't think, because he already tried to change it once and he failed. Hmm. I wonder, do I get... I don't think I get two votes, because, um... For holding two duchies. I think I only get one. 
That's okay. That's fine.